Like a snowball rolling downhill, investment growth is a compelling concept. Instead of accumulating snow, envision this metaphorical snowball composed of dividend payments from diverse stocks within your portfolio. As it descends, it accrues more dividends, exponentially amplifying its growth. This video delves into its intriguing phenomenon, exploring its mechanics, optimal strategies and potential to generate $5,000 monthly earnings. Let's dive in. The dividend snowball effect is a straightforward concept. When a company issues dividends, a portion of those dividends is used to purchase additional shares of its stock. The number of shares in your possession increases, leading to larger dividend payments in subsequent periods. This continuous cycle results in exponential growth like a snowball rolling down a hill. To illustrate this strategy, consider the wisdom of Warren Buffett. Someone is enjoying the benefits today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This adage emphasizes patience and the principle that good things require time to develop. In the context of investing, you can apply this idea by investing in dividend paying companies, allowing your dividends to grow and compound over time, mirroring the growth of a snowball as it rolls downhill. Suppose Alex embarks on a one-time investment of $10,000. After 25 years, his investment would burgeon to an impressive $297,000. $153, yielding an annual dividend of $37,698. This translates to a monthly income of approximately $3,140. By this illustration, it's clear that the more you invest, the higher your dividends become. Even if you opt to keys reinvestment at some point, your dividend payments continue to ascend as companies frequently augment dividend amounts. Commencing early with a modest investment of, let's say, $1,000 or a more substantial $10,000 investment and diligently reinvesting dividends can result in a considerable wealth accumulation over time. It stands as an exemplary method for long-term wealth building. Investing $200 monthly over 25 years can yield a commendable results for those who prefer a systematic approach. This plan doesn't involve taking on any additional debt and is simple to implement. In the long run, you will have $61,000 if you start with $1,000 and keep putting away $200 every month for 25 years. If you reinvest the dividends earned, your investment will reach $535,610. On the other hand, if you abstain from reinvesting dividends, your investment will only amount to $172,308. Consequently, dividend reinvestment results in an additional $363,302 in gains. Even without dividend reinvestment, you will still receive $8,645 in dividends over this period, equating to $720 per month. However, the real advantage lies in reinvesting dividends. After 25 years of following this strategy with dividend reinvestment, you will enjoy an annual dividend income of $67,785, equivalent to roughly $5,656 monthly. The power of compounding and dividend reinvestment becomes even more apparent when extending the strategy for 5 or 10 additional years. In 30 years, your annual dividends would reach $133,907, totaling $1,072,567 in investments. Over 35 years, your yearly bonuses would ascend to $270,148, with a total investment value of $2,130,690. Translating to an impressive $22,500 monthly dividend. The divergence between reinvesting dividends and refraining from doing so becomes remarkably substantial, with a notable 1.9 million variance in total value and an annual dividend income divergence of $260,000. This effect, underscored by the compounding phenomenon, amplifies its influence over time. Therefore, initiating your investment journey and adhering to disciplined approach of reinvesting dividends sooner rather than later will enhance the potency of the dividend snowball effect. Now that we have elucidated the mechanics of these investment strategies, the crucial question is where to allocate your funds. 
For this, we have curated a list of funds and stocks spanning diverse sectors that align with the requisites of an optimal portfolio characterized by both safety and substantial returns. By concluding this discourse, we will elucidate how Alex can potentially realize a monthly income of $5,000 from a portfolio of these selected stocks and funds. A foundational step in constructing an ideal portfolio involves the inclusion of dividend aristocrats. These are steadfast companies renowned for very consistent dividend increments spanning at least 25 years. These established large-scale entities can be identified on the esteemed dividend aristocrats list, housing some of the highest dividend paying stocks in the market. Prudent evaluation should also examine a company's dividend payout ratio, ideally within 50% to 60% of their earnings. Furthermore, please exercise caution when confronted with exceptionally high dividend yields, as they might signify financial instability within the company. A few examples of such dependable entities include Coca-Cola, boosting a compound annual dividend growth rate of 5.33%, Procter & Gamble at 5.73%, Johnson & Johnson at 6.28%, and McDonald's with an 8.33%. 39%. Instead of buying individual stocks, you might invest in exchange-traded funds that focus on companies that pay dividends. Several commendable ETF options merit considerations. Notable examples encompass the SPDR S&P Dividend ETF, currently yielding 2.91% with an average 10.23% return over the past decade. The Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, featuring a 2.99% current yield and a 10. 45% average return over the past decade, and the Schwab US Equity Dividend ETF, currently yielding 3.69% and demonstrating 14.61% average return over the past 10 years. It's Gentleman's Finance Channel. Here we'll learn about different business opportunities, how to make money and invest wisely. Here you will also learn how to increase your wealth and become debt-free. All men should take care of their own finance. If you are interested in accumulating wealth and improving your financial future, make sure to subscribe this channel and hit a like button. Also, comment down below I subscribed and I will try to answer all of your comments. Now let's go back to the video. Like mutual funds, real estate investment trusts invest in a variety of assets, but unlike mutual funds, REITs focus on real estate. Common examples of commercial real estate includes restaurants, hotels, and retail stores. REITs, as mandated, distribute at least 90% of their earnings as dividends. Prominent REITs in this sector encompass Kimco, Realty Corp, boasting a current dividend yield of 3.26%, Brandywine Realty Trust with a current yield of 6.59% and Brookfield Property REIT offering a current dividend yield of 7.54%. Before presenting the potential earnings from an exemplary portfolio, it is imperative to acknowledge that while these investment opportunities hold promise, diligent research and due diligence are essential for optimal decision making. The quest for long-term wealth hinges or selecting companies rooted in diverse sectors, ranging from the beverages to home improvement, fast food, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, and real estate, of paramount importance of their possession of robust competitive advantages, which pave the way for consistent growth and wealth accumulation over time, returns from an ideal portfolio. Let's now examine the potential returns from a carefully constructed portfolio that amalgamates top performance from three distinct sectors. McDonald's, boasting an impressive return of 8.39%. Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF with a remarkable 14.61% return. Brookfield Property REIT delivered a solid 7.54% return. By combining these three entities within your portfolio, you can anticipate an average annual return of 10.18%. Under strategy 1, an initial investment of $1,000 would burgeon to $12,607 over 25 years, yielding a yearly dividend income of $1,215. 
However, the true potential unfolds when implementing strategy 2. Over the same 25-year period, investing $200 monthly culminates in an investment valued at $288,575, entailing an annual dividend income of approximately $27,711, translating to a monthly payment of $2,310. For those with an extended investment horizon, the rewards escalate exponentially. In 30 years, your investment would be valued at $494,744, ending with an annual dividend income of $47,586. In a 35-year horizon, the investment's worth surges to an impressive $836,899, generating a yearly dividend income of $80,500. $186. Consequently, this approach facilitates a monthly payment of $6,715. These projections exemplify the diligent investment in dividend-paying stocks even with the modest initial amounts can culminate in substantial wealth accrual. If you found any value in this video, please consider to like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and this way I can make more valuable content for you guys.